Well, this is the setting for our featured match today. Welcome to you. Alan Smith alongside me, Martin Tyler. League 1 football for you coming up very shortly. It's Nantes against PSG. Yeah, thanks, Martin. Looking forward to it. I think we're going to have an entertaining tussle here. I think we'll find that out in the first 10 minutes, how these teams approach the task. And the first half is underway here. That's the kickoff. One of their better passers, and he's given it away here. Well, they've got him behind here. All Peters out, rather, for them. Check for you on the Nantes team now. I think that back four is really important for them. They've got to be strong and solid, but they've got a bit of protection, haven't they? They have. They should have more than enough. I mean, they're all good defenders in their own rights, but uh, in front of them, they've got players who are going to be working really hard. Whether they can be a, a fit on the front foot, we'll wait and see. Another turnover in play here with that interception. It's a good ball. They could be in. Look, certain to score. Well, talk about agility. That is magnificent. All time to celebrate for the underdogs. Could make something of this. Keeper choosing to punch the ball rather than catch it. Flags up, offside. Oh, I think he was a uh, half a yard on there. He's entitled to feel hard done by. And for the away side, this is how they line up for this match. Kalor Navas in goal. Thomas Meunier starts alongside Bernat in the fullback positions. And Kylian Mbappe plays up with Mauro Icardi. And he shoots from long range. Got in well for the chance and couldn't quite supply the finish. Yeah, nothing wrong with that effort. The keeper was a touch worried there for a second. Always a great talent, Neymar, but as he's got older, more and more responsibility, and he shoulders it well. I think he does, and uh, he relishes the big occasion, the big stage. We've got one here. Steered through. That's a wonderful chip into the back of the net. The skill of the attacker to get that up and back down again, it really takes a lot of doing. Oh, audacious in the extreme. But you wouldn't rule out that player from trying it, would you? He's got that in his lockup. Paris Saint-Germain in front. Well, they couldn't keep possession. They've given it away. Neymar can go on here. Throw in for Paris Saint-Germain. Can go in from here. Neymar. Opportunity to cross it now. And there's the interception. Came in with the challenge and the ball broke free. The shot's on. He's blocked that well. Limbomb. Well, that will be the goalkeeper's ball as they tried to get a runner in behind the opposition's defensive line. I just wonder at what point, Alan, with uh, Paris. Di Maria with a shot. It's a terrific effort from there, even though the goalkeeper wasn't at home. Well, the teammates are looking at the goalkeeper, but the uh, scorer's teammates are congratulating him, and rightly so, because that wasn't a formality, even after the goalkeeper's mistake. Yeah, it would have been easy to have relaxed, taken it easy, thinking it was an open goal, but he didn't. Kept his concentration. Just widen the margin here to 2-0. They're looking good when they attack. And there was danger, but he's cleared it. Superb individual skill. Oh, see you later. 
chance for a break in numbers. That's a silly offside, isn't it? In the build-up here, he's uh, well offside. Mauro Icardi. Mbappe. It's a quick break. Saw the goalkeeper, went for power, but lost the accuracy. Yeah, I mean, he's just tried to smash it. A lack of composure involved there. Appiah. Limbomb. Chance to get the ball in the box. No, it's offside when it looked as though they might be in to score. Now Bernat. Neymar. And the offside stops the play. Flag went up. Referee blue. Well, there's going to be three minutes added on. Mauro Icardi. Mbappe. Neymar. Neymar losing the... And there goes the whistle for half-time. And the scoreline is 2-0. We're at the start of the second half. And it's Paris Saint-Germain who hold the advantage at this point. Kimpembe. The break is definitely on. Well, that breakaway did look dangerous. It's as well they've won the ball back. That's a good way to nick the ball back. Quick thinking. Oh, look at those stats for PSG. Had so much of the ball so far. And no wonder they're winning. With that possession, they've taken their chances. They've played some lovely football to be comfortably on top here. I think the cross is on. Icardi! It's hit the post and gone in. Well, we see it again, how close it was to maybe hitting the post and staying out. But luck was with him. In it goes, it counts. Now, I think the goalkeeper thought he got his angles covered there, but uh, he didn't look too pleased when it rebounded in. And just looking at the tactics of this match, maybe this substitution will hold the key. Well, it's not easy to find the spirit here that they're going to need in these circumstances as they kick off again. Here's a chance to just stretch the opposition with a bit of width. That's a good ball. Switch the play with it. It's a deep cross towards the back post. Well, the cross looked good, but it didn't turn out that way. Mbappe. That's the brilliance of the back heel. Excellent vision. And in on goal, Di Maria. An excellent chance, more than matched by the goalkeeper, who's diffused the situation. Oh, great agility, great reflexes there, and uh, denying the opposition any knockdowns as well. Di Maria. Goalkeeper can only parry it out. Opening them up with a through pass. Time here to strike at goal. That's so straightforward enough for the goalkeeper. Good hands, but it would have been a surprise if he dropped it. Yeah, kept his eye on the ball. Good handling from him. Just a reminder of what a great keeper he is. And he's a big lad and he needed every inch of his frame there. Corner played into the middle. And the goalkeeper, it's his ball. Very good tackle. Difficult for the defender against a player who wants to take him on like this. 
Paris Saint-Germain given the throw. We could get a cross in here. He has to be very quick. And on the home bench, a substitute is clearly getting ready to come on. And they're better than that. That's rather sloppy. Gay. Mbappe. Idrissa Gay. And here's the shot. Well, now it looks like a question of just how many. They really are on top now, stretching the lead, looking like the real winners of this match. Nah, he's upset with himself, the goalkeeper, having got a touch on it. So off they go again, trying to make some sort of mark in a game that they're being dominated in. Nothing so far in this game to surprise us. Perhaps only the, the margin that they lead by. Yeah, it's not always easy coming into a game and everyone's expecting you to get a hat full, but they've kept through everything behind that shot and frustrated that it wasn't quite on target. Well, if he keeps getting in those kind of areas, I'm sure he'll score pretty soon. Played down the wing, keeping the wide attack going. 84 minutes gone, six minutes to go. Trying to slip it through. He's in on goal. And it's a goal here. Well, he's point-blank range. But you've got to be there to score. You've got to be there to miss it as well. But he didn't. Well, everybody wants to get in on the act. The strikers can improve their goal ratios. It's a free-for-all out there. There's no doubt that the scoreline reflects realistically the nature of the game. There's nothing false about it. They've thoroughly deserved to be so far ahead. Simon. Teammates getting out. He's one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. Surely. I think he saved them there with that interception. There's only a minute to go. Mbappe. Icardi. Good vision, played over the back of the defenders. Checking infield from the wide area. And the referee brings it to a halt. As a match, it was rather one-sided, wasn't it? Because of the capacity of one team to dominate the football. Well, it was a football lesson. It was pretty humiliating for, for the inferior team. They just didn't get into it.